everybody, Schwazy here. In today's video, we're gonna do a quick look at the 2024 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. Now, before we get into today's video, I do want to extend a huge thank you to Jerry Signer's Chevrolet of downtown Salt Lake City for giving me the opportunity to review this vehicle for you all today. If you guys are in the market for a new or used vehicle, make sure you reach out to them. Let them know that Swayze sent you. I'm going to put their information down in the description below. Okay, so what exactly is the Trail Boss? Well, it's one of many different off-road trim levels of the Silverado 1500. And this is kind of the most affordable off-road trim level, although it's not cheap. And we'll talk about pricing here in just a minute. But sorry off with the outside let's do a quick exterior walk around you do have this black grill that looks really good and then you've got the led running lights now you don't get led headlights on the trail boss but it still looks really good the front end of the silverado 1500 is one of the best looking trucks in my opinion and then unlocking it you can see that's what the led headlight looks like it kind of has this cool effect to it as you unlock it uh, and then coming over to the side you get the z71 badge which is essentially the off-road package and the trail boss comes with that as standard Standard. And then coming across the side, I do like the color of this vehicle. It's like the red tint coat and uh, Chevy and GM have this color. It looks really good. You got the Trail Boss sticker located over here in the back and then coming out to the rear. This one does have the multi-pro tailgate, which is really easy to use. So you simply push this lower button to open it up all the way. And then if you want to open the second section you push that button and then to open up this step you just pull that and then you have a really good access into the trunk area plenty of space back here now you can get the truck bed in a variety of different lengths on the trail boss i believe this one is the standard box uh this is about a six and a half foot bed or so but you can get this with a short bed as well and then back here you've got lighting as well and you've got a household power outlet now climbing inside that's where it looks uh, very similar to some of the other silverado 1500s really nice use of materials all throughout this is all kind of this injection molded plastic this is hard touch plastic material but where you're going to rest your elbow looks great and then this is also a nice wood veneer got some brushed chrome and then this is all soft touch material where you're going to rest your elbow one touch automatic on the driver's side everything else is automatic windows mirror controls you got your bose audio system and then a large pocket over here where you can put two water bottles and store some other equipment now climbing inside these seats are a little bit more plain than what you would find in the zr2 zr2 has a little bit more design to it it's got some yellow stitching these ones are just regular unlike the zr2 these are only heated seats whereas you can get ventilated seats in the zr2 as well and then climbing inside very similar in terms of the technology. You've got a 12.3 inch all digital gauge cluster display over here. And then in the center, you have a large 13.4 inch touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Tons of features here. You do have your camera function. Now, I believe you have more camera angles on the ZR2 as standard, but you can option the Trail Boss with that 360 degree HD surround camera, which this particular vehicle comes with. Down here are just some of your quick access buttons for your lane keep assist, your parking sensors. You can open up your tailgate and then you can turn on your off-road cruise control. Now, one feature that's missing here as compared to the ZR2 is a front locker. You do have an automatic rear locker, but it's not one of those where you can push the button and turn it on. It automatically turns on when it senses some slip. Now, I really like the GM software, very easy to use, but you also have a physical home button and a physical volume button down here if you need it. You got your push to start button, your trailer brake controller, your automatic climate control settings, two USB ports, a little compartment over here, two cup holders. Another feature that's missing in the Trail Boss is you don't have a wireless charging pad like you do in the ZR2. Soft touch material here though, large compartment with a USB port and a household power outlet. And then on the passenger side, I do like that this is all leather touch material. You can open up this compartment for a little bit of extra storage some more of that wood veneer that goes all the way across onto the passenger side glove compartment over there and there's a look at the passenger door panel now i will say all of this is nice soft touch material so it's not like you're picking the cheaper model by picking the trail boss over the zr2 now one feature that's missing here compared to the zr2 is the rear view camera mirror however this one does come with a sunroof <laughs> Now climbing into the second row, really nice use of materials on the door panel as well. This is still injection molded plastic, you got that wood veneer, and then you've got a little grab handle and a place for your cup holder and your Bose audio system. Now taking a look at these seats, also not as nice as the ZR2, but at least they are leather wrapped. They feel really good. You've got a little storage compartment over here that's hidden, and you've got two cup holders in this center arm compartment over there as well. Now one feature that's missing back here is you don't have rear heated seats, but you do have two USB ports and rear air vents. 
And overall, it's a pretty nice place. You've got tons of space underneath this compartment as well. And then climbing inside, typical to all crew cab pickup trucks, plenty of space behind the first row. Okay, so we've talked about some of the things that are missing on the inside as compared to the ZR2. Now let's talk about some of the off-road capabilities and just how similar this is with the Chevy Silverado ZR2. First off, you still get these 32-inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires. These are off-road tires, mud terrain, got lots of grip over here. And you still have off-road shocks. Now they're not the same ones like the Multimatic DSSV that you find on the ZR2, but these are Rancho off-road shocks and they're meant to handle a little bit better on and off-road. You also still get a two inch lift from the factory and you've still got a two speed transfer case with a four high, four low and a four auto. The real main difference up front is you don't have these larger cutouts so your approach angle just isn't as good as the ZR2. But that's okay because pricing for this is actually a lot better than the ZR2. You're looking at a starting price around $58,000. ZR2 is pushing somewhere around 70 up. Now the one standing behind me is pretty much fully loaded. It's got that HD surround view camera, all the additional goodies. This one's pushing around $70,000, which is near ZR2 territory, but it comes more equipped than just your basic ZR2. But what are your thoughts on the Chevy Silverado Trail Boss? Would you take this over the ZR2 and why? If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also check me out on all the social media at Schwazy underscore. Until next time, everybody, I hope you stay Schwazy, stay healthy, have a wonderful day.